everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be making some desk mats using resin and anime jigsaw puzzles so you can see right there I had a Sailor Moon puzzle that I ordered off of Amazon and right now I'm spreading the Mod Podge um, thanks to my roommate I was able to actually record the video because it would be so hard spreading the Mod Podge and recording at the same time so gratitude to my roomie um, right now, I'm just spreading over the Mod Podge in the front and the back. Um, I'm trying to get all the crevices because Mod Podge is used to protect the puzzle from resin leaking through. Um, we realized after experimenting with a couple of puzzles that the recommended amount of coats for the Mod Podge would be around 3 coats to get an even surface without any leakage. Next we are blow drying the Mod Podge off the surface of the puzzle. Um, this is just to um, make the process a little bit more quicker. Um, you could also leave it to air dry but it'll take longer, probably around like an hour or maybe even an hour and 30, 45 minutes. But with the blow dryer it's like 10, 5 minutes so that's much better. Um, make sure you get rid of all the white spots from the Mod Podge, you don't want that seeping through when doing the resin. The next part is of course the resin. Um, I do have to give a disclaimer. What you see me doing it without gloves, do not do that. Resin is very dangerous. Um, you don't want too much resin to seep into your skin or you don't want to inhale too much resin which is why we opened our windows before we did this. So right now I'm just adding in the two parts and of course the glitter. Um, the glitter is extra step if you want to make it like shiny and glittery. I thought it would work out well. Right now I'm taking out the glitter that I got off of Amazon and I also got some extra glitter thanks to my roomie. Um, I, I decided to go with gold and find and white just so that I could get that glossy shine and that glossy finish. As you see here I'm taking the small spoon and I am scooping out small bits of the glitter. Too much glitter can cause the jigsaw puzzle to be lost. Um, so you only want to do a little bit at a time. If you need more, you can always add more, but I feel like a little bit goes a long way when it comes to resin and glitter. Um, so you see me here scooping out the gold glitter, scooping out the white glitter, and of course the flying glitter. I'm just taking my time because glitter is really hard to clean up. As you can see, I already made a small mess. And we didn't want glitter all over our dorms because then we would have to vacuum it up. And the two of us have busy lives, so we don't want to do too much of a cleanup process. We don't want to spend too much time cleaning, just a little bit. So then I dump the glitter in their resin, and I mix again. Make sure you got the resin, the glitter all through the resin. Um, make sure it's spread out evenly as possible. Um, that's me showing the product of the mixing. And then for the fun part is to pour the resin onto the puzzle. Um, this is probably my favorite part but it's also the most stressful part because you want to make sure that you get an even coat. And because since the resin is kind of permanent you can't really do over in a sense. And when you pay like 20 to 30 dollars on a jigsaw puzzle you don't want to mess it up with resin. So this is kind of stressful but it's also um, kind of fun as well because you get to see like your product coming together and you know see how everything comes together the smooth surface I do have to say is really nice when you put it all together because it makes it versatile and it also makes it last longer so that's the great part about it I chose this Sailor Moon puzzle because I kind of wanted a puzzle that doesn't look like a generic poster but I also kind of wanted something anime related and I thought the Sailor Moon puzzle was very cute As for the leftover resin, of course we didn't want to waste it because resin is expensive. So we decided we're going to use these little molds and make some little jewelry with the leftovers. Um, we just put a little bit of some little glitter stuff um, and some little like flowers and different little things that we got from the set and we just used that to make pendants. And then we're over here letting the resin dry. We also use the hair dryer again on the resin to make sure there are no air bubbles in your resin. The last thing you need is a humongous air bubble on somebody's face. So we just use the blow dryer to kind of smooth it out. 
Um, we're not allowed to have blow torches in our room, so usually professionals would use like a blow torch, but we have to kind of improvise and not break any of the school rules. Um, so this is how the little moles turned out as of right now. Um, we're blow drying them as well to make sure that there are no air bubbles inside um, the jewelry. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is the final product with everything together. I really liked it. We also put a second coat of resin because we saw some spots that need to be filled. Um, so this is just the white shot. We also did um, a Jujutsu Kaisen puzzle and a hand puzzle and I remember we also did some fur as well.